once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Mac Myla. and Christopher. We're back in the Atomic Age, playing around with some attack helicopters. If you're asking, where do they train? Where do they train? Are they in the airstrip? No. They're in the barracks. There's your stats on them. 1,220 hit points, etc., etc. The exciting part, seven range. Just for deployment view only. Because that's what you do when you get new troops. Yeah. You train uh, an army of full of them, and you just go ahead and try them out. So without further ado. <laughs> All right. Now, these are defensive building specific units, meaning that they go for all of the defensive buildings first. With that range of seven, though, they do have a very significant advantage to a lot of the shooting buildings. Okay. Let's give them inspiration points. Let's see, it does have the backup to get to the seven range. But that seven range is, and that, yeah, that seven range is huge, though, right? It really is. They do get quite the spread right away, uh, especially when you do. Oh, look at you. Sabotaging me. stuff. Um, so they do get spread out quite quickly. They behave uh, as far as rallies and the ability to control them. The exact same as the rest of your troops. You can protect them. Oh, Faye, rally only building. <laughs> Why do they spread like that? I don't know. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed, because I've done this a few times, uh, is that you have to take more than your average betrayals because they do get shot down quite quickly by tanks and other defensive buildings obviously so if you betray those tanks and you're exceedingly good with your planes you can keep them alive but for the most part with only 1200 hit points they go down fairly quickly One of the things that I think people are going to have a difficult time with, uh, as far as these units, is your ability to rally. So when you do a point rally, when you do anything like that, uh, they fly right over top of the walls. Even as far as rallying away from defending units, so tanks for instance, um, you can go ahead and rally away from a troop that will then have to go all the way around the walls. Or through all the gates in order to try and catch your little flying attack helicopters. Yeah, I was not impressed. Oh, the range on them is phenomenal. Like a huge, huge advantage. Doesn't even trigger the air defense here. Nope. Oh, see if you had a betrayal, you could take that big fat tank that's about to start destroying stuff. Yeah. Or you yeah. could just plane them. I, I just want to watch him. You just want to watch him take down a couple? Yeah, yeah, actually I do. So that's all the defensive buildings, and now I think this is where it gets problematic because they do such minimal damage to all of the other buildings. So I don't think it allows you enough fire, firepower to actually get through uh, this little 187 Global that you're trying to take down. Little 187 Global with level 14 walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But they are super cool, and I think they're a, a definite asset for the Atomic Age. I think they are a significant advantage, putting the Atomic Age above, obviously, the Global Age, and they're super cool. I mean, look at them. Look at the picture of them, even. And you certainly don't have a chance of getting a, a quick victory using attack helicopters. Don't yeah. even try it. <laughs> well, I mean, who knows? Try it. Try it and let me know how it works. Down to seven, six. So they're a little tougher than I imagined. If you didn't kill all of them, you could have brought some of those pilots home and maybe bought them a drink or two because they did a phenomenal job on that base, I think. They certainly did. A 50% victory. I honestly perceive that you'd have to attack the town center the entirety of that battle in order to actually destroy the town center. That's my thoughts anyways. Probably. But there you have it. That is the attack helicopter. 
hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to keep your sticks on the ice.